Okay, so this is a pretty quick video on Slack's reminders feature. Uh, I use this all the time to remember messages on Slack, particularly because I get a lot of comms coming in uh, on Slack where people ask me to do something or when I send a message. Um, so the first reminders feature Slack has uh, is the slash command. So if I want to set up a reminder for me, I can just type forward slash remind. Um, and then I can say like me tomorrow at 9 a.m. to do a thing. And it'll say, cool, I'll remind you to do a thing. And I'll then get a message from Slackbot uh, when that happens. Uh, the other thing that's kind of useful for this, I can use this to remind other people. So I could say, remind Bruce uh, at 9 a.m. tomorrow to call Danny. Um, um, this means that Slackbot's going to message Bruce to do that. Um, you can also send reminders in channels, uh, which is pretty useful. Again, it's the same format. We can just do remind, but I can say remind, uh, I don't know, London um, at 9 a.m. on Friday to, I don't know, do a thing. Um, and what that's going to do is, is set up a reminder um, and it'll send a reminder in the London channel um, at 9 a.m. on Friday to, to do a thing. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, this is also super, super useful if you uh, if you want to set up a recurring reminder. So you can't do recurring reminders for people because that'd be really annoying, um, but you can put them in a channel. So I could say remind London to uh, fill out weekly reflection survey at 5 p.m. every Friday. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to uh, send this message saying fill out weekly reflection survey. And that kind of thing is super powerful. Uh, if if I had a link to this survey, I could just include that in the text. Um, and then every Friday, Slackbot will ping a message in automatically and you can just click on it. So I used to use this when I was teaching all the time um, for morning actions for the students. And then I'd also have one of these for, for a survey or a couple of surveys with a link. And I'd also put an app channel in here so it would ping everybody in the channel. Um, so that's one use of reminders, um, which is kind of useful for setting up systems or for like reminding yourself of stuff or reminding other people. Um, I'm just going to delete all these because I don't actually want to set up those reminders. Um, but the other thing you can do, which is super, super useful, uh, if there's a message like this one up here um, where I want to be reminded of this, say I've sent a message and I know I need to follow up on it, I can go to the right, go to remind me about this next week. Um, and that will set up a reminder for this message next week. So um, I'll get pinged by Slackbot um, whenever it is, 9 a.m. on Monday, uh, basically saying, you asked me to remind you about this message here. Um, and it will provide a link to that message. And that's great because it means I can go back into that message and follow up down here. Um, I use this all the time for messages I've sent I need to follow up on. But also if someone asks me to do something on Slack, especially if it's in a channel that's a really busy channel, um, I go and click the reminder button and I'm like, yeah, cool, I've got to do a thing, remind me about that in an hour. Uh, and then I can move on with my life knowing that Slackbot's going to come back. Um, um, what I often do, even if I ignore the reminder when it comes through in a couple of hours, um, in the Slackbot channel uh, in here, it, it stacks up all of your reminders with buttons saying like, do you want to do you want to action it? Um, I'm not going to open open it because there might be some reminders in there with text that I can't share publicly. Um, but but yeah, that that reminders feature is an absolute game changer for me. It's one of the ways that I, I, I can be sure I don't forget things. Uh, the other option, of course, is to star things. Um, by starring a message, you can access it by clicking up here in your starred items uh, and it will show you all your starred messages. But for me, having Slackbot remind me is more useful.